No work on? Yeah, plenty. They're all away, so I uh, thought I'd come see if you need anything doing. Firsty visit, then he offers to help. Dear diary. What were you thinking? Cleaning the toilets? Wouldn't be my first choice. I bet. Have you dropped in on Andy? I don't think I'll be welcome. Still, it'd be nice if you tried. Right, yeah. How is he? Is he okay? Well, his wife's still dead, so no, not really. Yeah, I passed Katie's grave earlier. Thought she'd have a headstone by now. He can't afford one yet. Well, we could pay. Do you think I haven't offered? His dreams are already smashed to bits. I'm not doing the same for his pride. And don't you be doing it either. I like all the labels facing out. I'll decide what Katie should have. OK. <laughs> Come in. It was just a suggestion. Well, you can stick your suggestion and your money in the same dark place. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. I'm not sure it'll be legal tender after that. You think this is funny? You think I've come up here to have a laugh with you? Andy, I'm trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, well, try being a decent human being for a change. Dropping money through my door like a... Well, I don't even know what you think you are. Your brother. And like I said, I'm trying to help. So let me. <laughs> help yourself. You're like the big man. Well, all you've done is get cash off your wife's family anyway. So I'm sharing it around, is that so bad? Yeah, you only do it to show off. Mm -hmm. Or to make up for being like the little rat like you are. But Katie will get a headstone when I can buy you one. And if that's never, then that's never, right? Hello? Debbie, 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 slow down. You what? Right, I'm on my way. What is it? Andy, what? Sarah's had some tests, there's something wrong. What? Well, I don't know. I'm at the hospital, I need to go. Well, I'll drive. Well, I'm in my car. Well, I'll drive that then. But you're in no state. Come on, where's the keys? In the car. Right. I'll be all right. You don't know that. This does go faster. Well, I'm already going well over the speed limit. Why don't you pay the cops off with all the cash then? Well, just put your foot down. I've got somewhere to be. Try and stay positive, all right? What have you done? Nothing. Well, carry on then. You're not giving me that option. Why did you have to stamp on the accelerator? I didn't, I just pressed it. Well, you've got to be careful. But it's had a lot of use, this. We can't all just go out and buy something new when your one gets dirty. Do you want me to have a look at it? Why, what are you going to do? Well, at the very least, the same as you. I did used to be a mechanic. Yeah, and your heart was well into that, wasn't it? Well, try it now. And be gentle. Oh, do you think we've got time for that? Oh, it's getting too much, this. Well, if we don't get it sorted, someone will pass. No, I mean with Sarah. You don't know what she's been through. You know, it just keeps on coming. We'll get the all clear and there's something else. Andy. No, it's not fair. She's not going to live into old age. She needs the, the time she's got to be good. Andy. You know, and when she's ill, she needs to know that I'm there for her. But it's hard enough not, not living with her. Now she does need me, I'm, I'm so flaming track. There's a loose connector. Oh, then I don't see that. You're a little bit distracted. Well, quick, get in. If you're still coming. Get out. Oh, Rob, just give us the keys. Look, do you want to turn up to the hospital in this or in the back of an ambulance? Sarah's going to need you nice and calm when you get there and you wrap your big Vin Diesels around her, so why don't you just calm down, get around the other side, take a breath and let me drive. And I promise not to stamp. Is 
thought he'd left that behind. Sarah and Debbie have gone home. This was a waste of time, then. Well, not entirely. <laughs>